Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, 93% of our daily grain volume uh, is done by non-humans. So again, sometimes we try to figure out the news for the market action. But overnight, beans are down about seven cents, corn down two, and wheat's down anywhere from 12 to 14 cents. Outside market stocks are higher. Dollars are a little bit lower. Crude's a little bit higher. Gold's a little bit lower. Coffee, cocoa, sugar are all uh, lower. <clears throat> I think that uh, in the grain room, the momentum continues to be lower. Uh, we expect this week on the U.S. Outlook Forum to show um, higher carryouts for corn, soybeans, and wheat for 2024-25, 20, uh, which is getting to be priced in to the marketplace. Uh, we we have see that uh, from a weather standpoint, uh, South America, uh, most of uh, Brazil and Argentina seeing uh, normal weather. Uh, Rio Grande do Sul might be missing out on some of the uh, rain. Um, <clears throat> Europe, uh, the Black Sea, China, all weather conditions there are favorable. Uh, we're still seeing maybe the north uh, west part of Africa dry. Uh, here in the United States, the Midwest is dry, but there could be some uh, breeze up across the northern plains and also rain continues across the delta and the southeast. Uh, temperatures are expected to uh, warm up a little bit down the road. Uh, and again, we'll be watching pretty closely as far as uh, March rainfall as we get uh, closer to planting season and the wheat comes out of uh, dormancy. Um, <clears throat> Brazil uh, is still cheaper than U.S. as far as soybean prices are concerned. Eventually, Argentina will be cheaper uh, than U.S. meal. We also note that Ukraine um, sold Egypt corn cheaper prices than U.S. for March and April. And we noted that over the last uh, few trading sessions, world wheat prices in Europe Russia, uh, uh, around the world, Australia are all lower, and so it looks like our U.S. futures are trying to catch up uh, to that uh, weaker price action. We're still waiting for China to start lifting the soft wheat that's on the uh, books for, for sales, and uh, we continue to see the uh, overall market conditions in the grain room a, a little bit negative. Uh, we also note that Russian prices at around 220. FOB prices are lower than U.S. at 258. So again, uh, lower trade uh, going into the weekly ethanol data, going into tomorrow's uh, export sales and Friday's uh, outlook uh, S&Ds for 24, 25.